there's also another story there in Washington that appears to be making a, a, a lot of news here. This Air Force vice chairman who's been not, Air Force general who's been nominated for the yes. vice chair of, of the Joint Chiefs there accused of sexual misconduct. What more can you tell us about that? Yeah, so let's lay out what, what the situation is here, Craig. We're talking about General John Hyten, who in 2017 and 2018 was accused of unwanted sexual contact. This is now newly surfaced allegations here, accused of kissing, hugging, rubbing up against another senior military officer who has asked not to be named. The woman talked to the Associated Press, and she says, quote, my life was ruined by this after she claims Hyten tried to derail her career. She describes one instance on a business trip when Hyten rubbed himself on her, and when she asked him to stop, she says he asked if she would report him. She said no. Now, Hyten is a decorated Air Force general. He was nominated in April, as you say, to become the vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And an Air Force spokeswoman says a comprehensive investigation that's already been conducted into the accusations found insufficient evidence to support any finding of misconduct on the part of General Hyten, who cooperated. Another senior military official says the investigations on multiple levels lasted for months and none of these allegations were corroborated. Still, there are some members of Congress, Senators Elizabeth Warren and Tammy Duckworth, who have written a letter to the Defense Department wanting to know more about the investigations, concerned that Hyten received preferential treatment, perhaps, because of his rank and his pending nomination, Craig. All right, a lot of moving pieces yep. there at the White House. Hallie, thank you so much.